Hey everybody, we're playing some more Valheim. I'm in the business of trying to upgrade all my gear to max, meaning I need to siege a couple more fortresses. That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to try to find a couple more. Um, then now, one thing I do have to say, I found an extremely easy way to do these fortresses using the mage build. I mean, like, basically brain dead easy. As long as you can get to the fortress, it's like foolproof. I can't wait to show you guys. Let's get started. Now, I did a bit of exploring off camera, and this is kind of what I came up with. So, of course, we started here, and basically, I took the route down here, through here, and I don't know, there was, like, basically nothing from here until here, but when I hit this part right here, I ended up finding three fortresses basically next to each other, which is crazy. Then I came back up and uh went home over here but here's the deal we're all the way over here if i die i have to go all the way across either way which is kind of brutal so what i'm thinking is we grab enough stuff for a portal and put a portal probably like here or here or here or wherever i can put a portal that way we're kind of close to all three and i think okay so this is the portal we want to take here the fire so we got to remember that name fire because that's going to be our new portal name fire so the hard part is going to be traveling do i not did i not build a hammer all right here we go let's go ahead and oh my god seriously bro all right all right i keep forgetting that we have to make well wait a minute no i used to do this There we go. All right. Okay. Now it's just our job to move down here. So which way is the best way? It looks like probably this way might be the easiest. You know what, guys? I actually thought of an easier way to do this. Just, man, traversing over land kind of sucks, not going to lie. What if I just take the boat, right? Like, hear me out. Where's my boat? Uh, yeah. If I just take the boat from here and I just kind of go around, I think I could just stop like right here. And then that distance to get there is shorter anyway. So it would actually almost be easier to put the ship here, loot, bring it back to the ship, and then just drive the ship over. I think that would almost be easier. Now, here's the deal though. If I'm going to be doing all that, I'm going to be running across like the bone maws i'm gonna need mage stuff because i don't know if my spine staff is enough so i actually will be bringing some of my mage stuff with me because you know i'll have to fight the bone maws at least with that and then i'll just bring it back when i have the portal set up all right step one i gotta take some puke berries because i'm gonna have to get all the other stuff out of my system here and then I gotta equip all my mage stuff. Here's the deal. You guys remember? When we kind of first came over here, we had to fight like a one or two bone maws. But I essentially just kind of ran from them. The concept of actually trying to fight them. It's going to be a little funky. Alright. We don't even have to wait that long to be honest. Oh my god. That's like not fair, right? <laughs> like that's not fair. It was inside of my boat. But all right. Here we go. Let's hope it doesn't destroy our ship before you know we even start the voyage here. But yeah, that's kind of unlucky. With what just happened. See, I can't really shoot it from here. Okay. Why did it stop hitting all of a sudden? There we go. Jeez Louise, man. Ooh, we can make 
the Ash Fang? Wait, that's new. The Ash Fang is new, isn't it? Is that even better? Okay, hold on. Hold your freaking horses. Can I make a better bow? So if that's the case, then hold on. Let me let me make that better bow first. Oh. Okay, so actually, I don't even think I can make it. Yeah, we'll need a little bit more flame metal. Alright, goodbye. Base. This is the this is technically the first time the boat has left like this dock. I've docked the boat here and I haven't touched it since. Because this has just been such a stable and safe area for me, you know? Oh, that's a bird. Yeah, how about you not do that? Yeah, it might be a good idea to kind of get out in open waters. Because I think the areas close to here are just going to have bone maws riddled, you know? So I might just like head straight out, you know? Try to either outrun the bone maw. And see, if maybe I was smart, I would have picked up modder's ability you yeah, see one over there okay everybody i'm out in the sea and i think this is going to be a perfect opportunity to notice a lot of the weird <clears throat> generation that is caused by playing in a world made before ashlands so l look at this I'm pretty sure before I came here, this was either Swamp or Mistlands. I have no idea. But, bro, look at all of this. As I drive by and I update, like, the actual terrain, just the in all the trees, the rocks. I don't even know what that giant pillar thing even is. I, I might actually have to go check that out eventually. We're, gonna, we're not going to, like, go physically check it out now just because I'm kind of on a mission right now. Is my phone alarm seriously? Yeah, I'm supposed to be waking up just about now, but psych, I'm already awake. Bro, but look at all this. That's crazy. Well, we got company. Here we go. We defeated one, but that uh, that was kind of a. Uh, it wasn't fair because I was next to my tower. For the, I think we're gonna have to try to defeat this bone moth for first time out in the open sea. You feel me? But it's okay. I got my stick on me. I don't think this dude's got anything on me. He's going to hurt my boat. But hopefully not hurt my boat until it breaks. But yeah, I'm going to... You know, I'm going to... I'm Frozone, you feel me? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shove so many icicles in this dude's mouth. As long as he doesn't eat me or poison me. Which he kind of just poisoned me. But it's okay. I got, I got a health potion. And I'm nasty with it. Okay, this dude... I just have to get this dude in front of me. Can you stand still? This freaking guy, man. Yo, chill for two seconds. Alright, alright, you're cooked. Yeah, you're cooked. GG. Yeah, get out of my face. You smell fishy. You smell bad. Got him. Okay, some teeth. Some bone mom. Ew. This dude spits out poison for fun. Why in the world would I want to eat his meat? You know what I mean? Do you want to eat his meat? Alright. I think <clears throat> this is might be a good opportunity to see some more cool land generation. Looks like we're in a little bit of a swamp or something. Because I just got ganked by mosquitoes. Look, bro. Look at all this. Just sinking into the sea. You know what I'm very curious about? If the logs break, do I get all of that wood? How nasty would it be? If I could just swim my boat through here, just collect all this wood and just put it in my boat and take it back. I I need to come back and double check. It, it feels like I, I'm just, I'm on a mission right now, you, you know? Like, I have to stay focused on the mission. Oh, not again! But we're going to have to come back. And I, I want to see what happens that generation. Now that we've seen kind of what happens, I need to get a little closer and investigate, but later. Alright, yeah, this dude's getting... Uh, lit up. Come here. Yeah, see, now it's much easier. Like, if I actually have my boat to the wind, it does catch up, but it gives me basically some time to 
kill it before it gets close. So now it's close, but now it's at like court. Don't bite the bottom of my boat, you weirdo. It's not an ice cream cone. Yeah, you're dead. GG. Pull, pull up to the side and you'll get blasted. Have a good night. Yeah, I'm shooting your tail. Alright. <laughs> no, dude, another one. Why are there so many of these in the sea? I, I have a hard time understanding why there's just like a sheer just such a sheer amount of these like how do these guys even live together like these things seem mega hostile like you're telling me these things just live next to each other casually without any territory problems like bro get that out of my face but it's okay another bone maw another one to beat up and then hopefully this will be the last one we have to fight or maybe because here's my thing i don't mind fighting them right like you tell me I can beat up uh, a stupid sea serpent, right? I, I don't have any issues. I don't like reptiles, and I don't like sea creatures. I like the water, but I don't like the creatures. You're telling me I get to beat one up? I'm cool with that. But here's my problem is my boat isn't cool with that, right? My boat breaks. So, oh my. Oh my god, I talk crap, but I'm getting hit. What is he doing to my boat? Dude, he's lifting it. All right, my bad. I didn't know you were like that. Apparently, this one goes to the gym and lifts. That dude... Dude, he... He took me off my course, bro. All right. Here we're... Okay. I think that one's a little... Uh, it, that one won't fight me. Okay. We're here. I found a nice little patch of beach right here where I don't think a whole lot of things will spawn. And if they're, if they, and if they're here, I'll just, you know, blast them up. But... I don't think there's going to be a whole lot here. So this is probably a good spot to just drop a crafting station along with our portal. <clears throat> and we're next to the boat. So that's good. I think this is a perfect spot. I'll have to clear the area a little bit. And then we can drop the stuff. Whoopsies. So what we'll do, we'll run down from this beach over to the fortresses, loot them. <clears throat> bring the loot back here put it on the ship stuff that we can't teleport and drive back when we have a million flame metal i think that sounds like a plan to me sounds like a good one too okay time to make the portal should i put it all the way at the end here just for the sake of it not getting attacked or do you think i should just put it next to my uh yeah let's just put it next to the thing i don't i don't think it honestly matters to be honest all right up and running okay i think it's time to siege but i also just realized that oh no for the siege machine i need 10 flame metal oh and i didn't bring it with me all right we are ha we will have to walk 10 flame metal ingots uh by foot here we go uh crap All right, and that's been done. And I've also walked down to a fortress. I think it's time for me to show you guys how to siege one of these properly as a mage. I think I, I found the trick. And as usual, it is uh, troll, <laughs> troll cheese. But first, step one, okay? Let, let's just start with step one. How do you take down a fortress with a mage? That is to get rid of these ballistas, which is done extremely easily using the the fire stick right because the ballistas can burn and the fire stick is great at hitting things at a long distance it's way more accurate than the ice and also the ice doesn't burn but yeah so we're going to take care of the ballistas and secondary to that if anything maybe even before you take down the ballistas is to take care of the surrounding uh spawners so that, that's step one. Take care of spawners and take care of ballistas. Now, the spawners are probably a little harder than the ballistas because the ballistas you can hit from a range that they can't hit you. The spawners are a little rough, but yeah. So step one, get rid of spawners. 
few more shots should probably do it. One. Two. There we go. Okay, so now we just gotta take care of the locals. You know? Get rid of the locals. If I'm trying to siege, I can't have these twitchers running, running amok here. Okay. I think there might be one more. Okay. Back to the blisters. Okay, so lo the locals have been... Oh, all right, one more. You know, guys want to get close to each other? Nice. Tweedledum and Tweedledoo or whatever they're called. All right. So, locals have been taken care of. Two siege machines. There's two more at the other end. You can pretty much hit them, <clears throat> even from the front. As long as you're pretty good at aiming with the stick. But let's run to the other side. And, oh, oh, okay. See, that's like the one thing you don't want while you're sieging. It is a random fallen Valkyrie to pull up. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. What are you going to do about it, you know? All right. Oh, I'm on fire. Is he on fire? I think the Valkyrie's on fire, too. Okay, well, we're going to try to ignore the Valkyrie. I don't want to fight him if I don't have to. Maybe I'll fight him afterwards. I don't need any more Celestial Feathers, to be honest. But, like I said, oop, another spawner. Okay, so we're going to take care of this spawner. And there's another Ballista over there. So we're going to take care of both of those while we're at it. Let me just quickly... All right, here we go. We start, we start throwing. We start lobbing. Hold on to this fire for me. Alright, we got a lot of shots in just then. A lot of shots. Alright, guys. Please stay away. Just a few more. Just a few more. I could summon a troll, but... Then I'd have to deal with the troll afterwards. Excuse me. Okay, this thing needs to go down, bro. This thing is annoying as crap. Just gather up a little bit more eater to finish this thing off. There we go. All right. I get the twitcher out of here. All right. Back to the focus. Spawner. Gone. Back to the ballista. And over here, it's pretty easy to hit it. Once again. Oof. I hate it when it does that, where it, like, went, goes right past it. As you can see, so I hit it, it's on fire. I usually just try to hit it with, like, one or two bolts, but, yeah, usually they fall apart pretty quickly once they're on fire. There we go. So, that is the third ballista that just got broken. I wonder, did I hit the fourth? I don't even remember if I, if I accidentally hit it or not. If I didn't, I could probably just hit it from here, to be honest. Let me just take care of this warrior first. Yeah, like, I, I could probably just, like, throw a couple of balls from here. But I, I'm pretty sure it's taken care of. There we go. Like, see? Eh, okay, that one might have hit. Alright. I think it's almost time to start the strat that you guys have been waiting for here. The troll stab. Okay. It spawns a troll in front of you, right? That also means it spawns the troll past a wall as long as you're close enough to the wall, right? I didn't realize this until just very recently. But yeah, you literally... Also, I'm just going to quickly double check. Okay, yes. Okay, plus is gone. If you're, fa if you're close enough to the fortress wall... And you spawn a troll. It will just spawn a troll inside of the fortress. Meaning, you don't actually have to fight anything. Just don't break open the door. You can, What you can do is just sit at the wall and just keep spawning trolls again and again and again and again. Eventually, 
they will wipe out everything inside of the fortress. It, it takes a little bit of time, but they will eventually just wipe everything out inside of the fortress. Even the spawners and everything. And to be honest, m like most of the time, they actually even break like the walls and stuff. Alright, here we go. So as you can see, look, I'm going to spawn in a troll. And the rock goes inside of the fortress. I didn't have to break the door. I didn't have to break any walls. It literally just spawns inside. Easy. And again, th this is why I called it, like, essentially, uh, like, a brain dead strat. Because I don't have to do anything. I mean, I have to get to the fortress. I have to clear the spawners and the trebuchets. But though <laughs> that stuff's easy, guys. Like, it's not that bad. The hard part is getting inside and breaking the spawners <clears throat> while getting ganked by 13 of them. No more. You don't do any of that. You just sit at the edge of the thing and you just spawn in trolls. That's it. And again, I, I don't know how their pathing or attacking works, but all I know <clears throat> is if you sit here long enough and you spawn trolls, eventually everything in there will be wiped. And even an added bonus most of the time, and again, I don't know how. Don't ask me, because I don't know. They find ways of breaking even the walls, so you often don't even have to battering ram the middle structure. It will already be busted open for you. So essentially, you just need a battering ram for the first door just to get in. And then you just walk in and collect everything. And even on a triple bonus, very rarely... They even break the main door. I have an example where I, I did this and it broke open the main door. So I just walked in and then walked into the and just clicked everything. I didn't even use a battering ram. I did everything just with the troll staff. Now, I would still bring materials for a battering ram because sometimes they don't break everything. And you don't want to take that chance because once everything inside is cleared, they'll have nothing more to attack then you won't have this opportunity anymore. I'm going to break the door. So you still want to keep all battering ram stuff available to you. But, ooh, a twitcher. A lot of times they will just break walls too. Again, I don't know how. because not, I don't think they're supposed to be breakable. I don't know if it's like a glitch where some pieces of the walls are still breakable. But, yeah, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a pretty surefire method of beating these fortresses. Uh, I definitely think the troll stab is probably the most broken thing that they've ever added to the game. I wouldn't be surprised if they maybe nerf it somehow. Like, I don't know what they could do to it to make it a little bit more fair, but this thing is busted. You can beat Fader without touching Fader. You can beat the fortresses without touching the inside of the fortresses. It's basically a 100% escape mechanism. Something's attacking you that you don't like. You spawn the troll and you run. For mages, this is the most powerful tool. Like, period. The amount of utility this gives us is crazy. Like, just pure utility. It can do everything. It can kill stuff for you. It can use to escape. You can take down the final boss. You can take down, like, the main dungeon. It, if you don't make this and upgrade this instantly, you're making a mistake. This thing's crazy. Look. I just keep making them rain. So, now you might be wondering... Well, hold your freaking horses, dude. How do you know when it's all set and you can go ahead and go inside? Well, as you can hear, there's a lot of fighting going on, right? There's a good bit of fighting. When you don't hear any more fighting is when you go in. It's as simple as that. Once the, once the trolls have nothing more to kill, they will just start walking around and you won't hear any more noises. So you just do this until it goes silent. And then you walk in. And you take everything. Simple as that. So I'm going to be out here. Just talking to you guys. Chilling. Until it goes silent. Might be a little boring. Like I said, it, it's not as, uh, you know, action filled. As going in there head first. Trying to, you know, kill everything with a sword. and It's not exciting. But it's cheesy. And I think it's fun. And it gets you a lot of good items. Which, again, 
I'm really now trying to max everything that I have. And on, you know, even a better note, if for some reason you have the ability to get up somewhere high, you can also spectate, which is pretty cool. So I can literally watch my trolls fight everything that's in there. And this way you could also know when they stop fighting because you can just see that they're not fighting anything. Now, it's pretty rare to find something where you'll actually be able to spectate the inside. But in this case, I did find one, which is pretty nice. See, so yeah, we can just sit here. Okay, one of the trolls died. We can just sit here and basically enjoy the show. I can tell by the green articles that there is still a warlock in there somewhere. You know what? Why don't I try and help out? Let me throw a few fireballs his way. Mood change, mood change. It's getting a little dustier. Is he attacking anything? Is that it? Is he attacking anything? Okay, see, he is no longer attacking anything. Meaning, I know that I'm good to go. I can break in there. He is not attacking anything. Nothing is spawning, so I just got to go in there, take care of the troll itself, which is probably already weakened by everything it had to fight. And, of course, the trolls are... Man, they have two attacks. They swipe, so you just stay away, and then they throw a rock at you, which you just sidestep pretty easily. Alright, let's build the crafter. Give it a little shelter here. Build the machinery. Bing bong, there we go. Put a little wood in it. Hello? There we go. Alright. Take down the front door. Here we go. Boom, bump. Alright, Bandering Ram. Appreciate you. Alright. Oh, and look. Like I was talking about earlier, he even broke down the door for us, which is pretty nice. Alright, so we just gotta take care of the summon troll, which is, again, not hard. He's already weakened, and the uh, ice staff is pretty good. But look, it literally opened even the treasure for us. So, it saves us at least a little time to not have to bring in the ram again. We can just destroy the ram outside and call it a day. Now, very importantly, you want to make sure to pick up all the treasures at the side of the middle structure. Also, do not forget your cog wheels. You want to make sure to pick everything up. But yeah, that's it. This has been sieged, and we didn't do anything. We just destroyed some of the spawners in the area, which technically, you know, if they're far away enough, you don't even have to deal with them. You could technically ignore them if they don't bring enemies your way. Destroy the ballistas, which you can just do from a distance with the fire stick. And then you spawn trolls, and the loot is yours. It's as easy as that. Really, the... The hardest part at this point is just maybe transporting everything back to your location, your ship, your portal, wherever. But, you know, if you got here, you could probably make it back pretty, you know, the same way you got here. But that is how to siege a fortress with the mage in most likely the easiest way possible. I think the only super large complication you could theoretically run into is maybe a fallen valkyrie if there's a fallen valkyrie here you won't really get to be able to get away from, you, you'll just need to fight that there, there's really no way to cheese the fallen valkyrie luckily and i guess this is more of an opinion than a fact but i think that if the valkyries have one of the easiest attack patterns in the game so far like their their attacks are some of the easiest to dodge i say that as like a val oh okay there's another emerald flame i say that as a valheim player that isn't particularly good I, w I could defeat the Valkyrie pretty quickly just because its its moves weren't super crazy to deal with. Alright, so here comes the hard part. It's taking everything back. Uh, so this will require uh, probably two trips. I'm going to take the super important stuff first. And then I'll have to come back for the second. But already we've probably got most things that we need. For the upgrades but 
you know, I've got three or four fortresses around the area, so I'm probably just going to loot the rest just for funs and giggles. But to be honest, there might not be a need. Even stuff like this grouse that I'm going to try to take home, though. I want to, I know my base is like technically done, but you know, if I, if I could build something else cool out of grouse, then so I might as well take this stuff home with me too. Okay, guys. Well, I'm probably going to end the video off here. The main port of this video was to get to the new area and at least take down one fortress. Next video, we'll continue taking down fortresses. And next video, we'll also max everything out. So for sure, next video, we're maxing everything. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching.